The chain rule. Here's the chain rule. If you have a function inside a function, like g inside of f, then you take the derivative of f and keep g inside it, so we have f prime of g of x times the derivative of g of x. All right. And so our first example is the derivative of the sine of x squared plus x. So x squared plus x plays the role of g here, and sine plays the role of f. And of course, the derivative of the sine of anything is the cosine of that anything. And in this case, it's g of x inside. But then we have to multiply that times the derivative of what was in here. And that, of course, is going to be what? 2x plus 1, and here it is. I took the 2x plus 1 and put it in front, and this is the derivative of the sine of x squared plus x right here. Okay. This next example is a little more complicated. Multiple, all right. Multiple chain rule. Here we have f of g of h of x. So in other words, we have a function inside a function inside a function. But we look toward the outside function of secant, and we consider this whole thing the inside function. We play it exactly the same way. The derivative of the secant is secant tan. So I have to have secant tan of what's in here, this big function here. And then I have to have times the derivative of the cosine x minus e to the x. Or I've got a prime here, right here. Now the derivative of this is going to be negative sine x e to the x, as we'll see. But then we have to have the derivative of what's in here, x, the derivative of x minus e to the x. And as I have it prime. The derivative of that, of course, is 1 minus e to the x. And there we have it. Now it would be a nice, uh, uh, it would look better if we distributed the negative here and got e to the x minus 1, brought it out front. So that's what I'm going to do. Notice I distribute that and bring it out front, and bring the sine out front also, which is no longer negative, and times the secant of cosine x minus e to the x times the tangent of cosine x minus e to the x.